Today I want to share with you the new setup for the Richard Preston Show. Uh, this is an interesting way to get some even lighting. This is cardboard that is reflecting these work lights, which really makes a nice clean picture. And then these LED lights that are three feet long help illuminate the set very evenly. And then on the sides, I have these colored lights that give me just a little bit more of uh, a nice glow on my face. It gives me a warm tone. I'm going to get to that in a little bit. Now you can see the camera setups. We've got a GoPro here attached to the table so people can get a real close view of the magic that's happening. And then we have my feedback speaker here, and then we've got a camera here, and then a camera way up there so that you can see what's happening on the table down here from up above. Now how all this takes place, this is the new setup I wanted everybody to see. So we have our mixer down here, and this is a USB out mixer that goes into my computer. And then we come up here, this is a really old Apple, but boy, this thing is a beast. That's what plays all my music, and that goes down into here. Then I have my microphones. These are Sennheiser wireless microphones, lavaliers. They go in channel one. And uh, channel two is the music. And then we're outputting the left and the right into a stereo signal that goes into this beautiful new mixer that I have. Now this is a Blackmagic mixer. It's the ATEM Mini. And boy, does it create some nice effects. I'm not going to go through all of them, but just take a look at how nice and quick everything happens now if I wanted to make some nice smooth changes it's just one touch of the button and then you can do sliding effects and even lower thirds now this one is interesting this channel that I reserved here channel 4 there's no easy way to get video into the stream. So I decided to hook up on the back here an HDMI cable to a splitter here, and this is a media player. This is like the replacement to a CD player or a DVD player, uh, a DVD player. You just put this, uh, a, 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 a scant, Sandus, <laughs> what do you call them? An SD card, there you go. <laughs> you put an SD card inside here and your media files play on there, just like that. So you queue it up and when your video is ready to play, you just hit play and you're rolling. So when I'm ready to go for a live video feed, Channel. I just hit that. I have a story play Richard Preston, the world's greatest magician. It's important that you subscribe. Pretty cool, huh? Not bad. So we have a more professional sounds, sound going out, a more professional video going out, and it's just an exquisite picture, and I'm really happy <laughs> that we got this and that's the view of the GoPro that's how close you can get to the magic so we're real excited about this and it's gonna be a great weekend of shows I'm real pumped about it the show's selling well and uh, there's still lots of tickets available for the 19th uh, the 18th is uh, selling very well right now so if you're thinking about getting tickets for the show this weekend, the 18th and the 19th, um, I would start hurrying up because they're not going to go 
uh, slowly. I think they're going to go a lot faster as the weekend progresses. But I thought that that might help out anybody who's thinking about any going online uh, with their performances, that this is the setup that you're looking at right here. There are a lot easier and, and shorter setups uh, that you can just do with your your phone, which is just fine. But if you want to do something complex with lots of different camera angles, this is this is the way to go. This this beast right here. And again, it's just as simple as pushing a button to go from one to the other. Very exciting times. Well, I hope you've enjoyed a little bit more in-depth view of Behind the Scenes with Richard Preston's Cocktail Capers.